Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Malika, if you don't know that already. And today we have another recipe video. This one is um, saltfish fritters. So it's kind of like a very popular dish in Jamaica and throughout the Caribbean but different islands do make it slightly differently. I am Jamaican, so this is how um, typically we would make it in Jamaica. This is actually not my recipe, I cannot lie. This is my mother's, um, and she shared it with me, so I shared it with all of you. As per usual, I will link everything that you need to know in the description box below to my blog, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, um, like, comment, subscribe, that good stuff and I will see you guys next time Mwah. okay so to start we want to soak our skinless boneless saltfish fillets which I just get from Tesco or my local Caribbean shop in some water for as long as possible preferably overnight just to rehydrate the fillets so they're a bit more pliable and remove any excess salt and then we throw that water throw that water off remove that water and then cut our saltfish fillets into small chunks once we've done that, we're going to add it to a bowl and then we're going to add in our black pepper, our finely chopped sweet peppers, our onions and also our eggs and the milk and you want to whisk that. You can also add in some fish seasoning or some sea salt if you like, but the, the salt fish is naturally salt, salty so you shouldn't need to. You want to mix that all together and then bit by bit you want to add in your flour to create a batter. Um, if you do it bit by bit, you're less likely to get lumps. That's why I do it like this. And then we just want to mix, mix, mix. Mix that in well, make sure it's as smooth as possible. There's no like flour lumps or anything like that. And then we want to heat up our frying pan and add in some sunflower oil. I really do recommend using sunflower oil over like olive oil or coconut oil. It's just the right consistency, basically not too thin, not too heavy. And then we want to make sure it's hot. I like to check that it's hot by dropping in a tiny bit of batter and once it starts to fry straight away, like this little piece right here, we know it's good to go. And then I use like a soup spoon because it's nice and round, just to drop in about three to four to the pan. Um, you want to make sure there's space between each of them, it depends on how big your pan is. And you want to fry one side on like a medium high heat until it's golden brown. Then you want to flip that bad boy over and fry the other side. Look at, oh, it looks so cute. I love this colour. This is the colour that you want it to be at, so it's not too dark, not too light. And then I use a knife just to make sure that in the middle isn't raw and it's cooked through. Take those bad boys out of the pan and put it onto a plate with some kitchen towel to just soak up any excess oil so it's not too greasy. And I'm just going to bust one open for you guys. You can see what it looks like. That's how it should look. And once you've continued frying but your pan has like dried out of oil, you wanna just give it a quick clean by removing any excess bits. Topping it back up with some more oil, allowing it to heat, and literally just continue, continue, continue. I get tired and I get bored, so I do like to store my saltfish fritters mix in the fridge. It lasts about two to three days in an airtight container. And then once you've finished frying, you can use your kitchen scissors, if this is for like something fancy, just to trim the edges. I serve it on a bed of lettuce, um, little gem or iceberg, with a little bit of sweet chilli sauce. I also like to have this with mango chutney as well, but I just didn't have any for this video, so we're just gonna use sweet chilli sauce for today. And we are good to go. I really should have dipped this for you guys, I feel like that would have looked so cute. But here we are, our saltfish fritters with some sweet chilli sauce. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to check me out on Instagram and Twitter, and check out my blog. I'll see you next time.